Oh, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul lifting messages, faith based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. You want to experience the hand and the mercy of God? The mercy of God does not come to careless people. It comes to people who admit that I need you. Just because it is messy does not mean it will come anyhow. Uh -uh. Your heart must be prepared. Lord, I don't know what I am without you. Tonight, I'll have to stop here because I need to pray for you. Hear me? The end time call, I can tell you this, the Holy Spirit is moving across nations like never before. The Holy Ghost is moving across Africa like never before. Moving across Nigeria like never before. He's not looking for everybody. There is a type of man that God is looking for. And it is my prayer in this conference, may you be that type of man that God finds for this end time fire that is blazing across the nations may you be that type of worshiper may you be that type of preacher may you be that type of businessman may you be that type of prophet that he's looking for in two minutes i'm going to allow you with the lord your maker I don't know how you are going to cry to God in two minutes, you alone, and say, Lord, I repent. I'm coming back to the heart of worship when it's all about you. It's all about you, Jesus. I'm sorry, Lord, for the thing I made it when it's all about you. It's all about you. Jesus, it's all about you, it's all about you, cry your heart to your maker, it's all about you, Jesus, is someone crying to the Lord, I come before you, oh God, just as I am, there's nothing to hide, there's nothing to hide. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Take your place, take your place, take your place, take your place. Two minutes, cry your heart to your maker. Shema nama na 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 Halla barata gada brata gane kata She banana banana, she banana banana, she banana. Rata bala kada brande gede brande kya. Please pray. Just two minutes and we're done. Set my heart on fire for you. Hey, man, I say, 
But in a great house, there are not only vessels of gold and of silver, there are vessels of wood and of clay, some unto honor and some unto dishonor. He says, If a man will purge himself, purge himself. Purge himself, purge herself, purge himself. That man will be a vessel unto honor, meet for the master's room. Yes, Shana masena malage, shena la la masena namaria. Hallelujah. I want to pray a prayer. We have a few minutes. But I want to pray. There are people here. There is a baptism of fire that is coming upon you. I want to, to bring the people out here. There is such a baptism of fire. This is not deliverance. This is an impartation of strength. Fire is coming upon your life and ignition. Holy fire burn upon my altar. Feeding the spirit to take over. Holy fire burn upon my Father, I pray, let this mantle of fire over and super at the count of three. Let men and women catch fire. Men of God, bring them out. Women of God, one, two, three, take that fire. Take that fire. Take that fire. Take that fire. The fire of the Holy Ghost upon your life the fire of the holy ghost upon your destiny the fire of the holy ghost burning every chaff burning everything that must die that must go take that fire in the name of jesus take that fire in the name of jesus take that fire bring them out Hallelujah! 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There are people here who are stepping into a grace for intercession. Prophetic intercession is coming on you. Bring them out right now. I stretch my hands all over this auditorium. May that fire for prayer, fire for warfare in prayer, prophetic intercession, may that grace mantle you right now. 
help that woman. Let it mantle you right now. Hallelujah. We're out of time. Bring them out. I'm praying for them. Palada kabrede gade kaskoto brahaskade. Shamanda skade la hashkada braskade balade. I'm seeing a call of fire. And the Lord is telling me he's touching the lips of people here. He's touching the utterance. God is giving men and women utterance. Utterance by the Spirit. Capacity to speak with fire. Capacity to preach with power. Utterance. Oh, may that call touch your lips. May that call touch your lips. Hallelujah. That gentleman wearing white, putting your hand on your head, come. Are you a pastor? Come. Lift your hands. The Lord is bringing you into a new dimension. There is a wine coming on you. Take that fire in the name of Jesus Christ. This new wine of the Spirit. Indeed, you will drink that wine and never thirst again. Never thirst again. This gentleman, you come. What do you do? I was in the military. God told me to leave the military and do the service. Don't go into full time for him. This year he asked me to move to Suka and align for him. He asked you to do what? To move to Suka to raise the end time soldiers for him. Oh, God brought you here to do ministry. Yes, sir. Let me pray for you. I'm seeing there is a fire that is coming on your life. Right now I stretch my hands. Fire from heaven. Let it fall upon you and change your life. You will never be the same. In the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God. This woman I don't know who she is you come this one yes what do you do Listen, I, I didn't hear you. Sir, I said I own a business. I graduated 2019. I want to pray for you because I'm seeing the Lord lifting you for his namesake. He's giving you influence among kings and even people in government. Do not forget the reason why he's doing this. Like Esther, the purpose is kingdom come. I stretch my hands. May that grace, that mantle for favor. You will drink of that wine and never thirst again. Man of God, what do you do? Huh? You are a pastor. Where? Here in this city? Suka, yes. In Suka. Lift your hands. I want to pray for you. Your life is about to change. The spirit of revelation and the healing anointing. These two graces. You have cried. You have prayed. It's time to step into that fire. Take that fire. In the name of Jesus Christ you will never be the same in the name of Jesus Christ now if you are sick in your body our time is up just lay your hands I want to pray for you we may not have the time to take testimonies but lay your hands I want to pray for the sick then I do the final impartation how many of you brought your prayer requests we asked you yesterday did you bring it have you submitted it okay now very quickly here's what we'll do whilst i am praying for this group of people please ushers or whether you are an usher or not especially if you are part of this ministry find something to do very quickly 
get the prayer requests and let's bring them to the stage here please campus fellowship presidents or leaders join join and do something now please and if you are yet to write it write it quickly write it quickly and submit it wave your hands Past my sin, my guilt, my shame. Just your prayer request please just the prayer request the only thing we need now is your prayer request you look beyond me oh. you look beyond me oh. Oh. now I'm the one you have shown mercy you have shown me mercy you have shown me mercy I'm the one you have shown mercy. You have shown me mercy. You have shown me mercy. I'm about to pray for the sick, but everyone in one minute, I'd like you to pray. Everything that must leave your life now, please let's save time. Open your mouth within the few minutes that we have. Speak to the Lord. Everyone here, is someone praying? Someone is praying, Father, this challenge in ministry, in my health, my family, these Egyptians that I see today, that I see them no more forever. This spiritual laxity, this lukewarmness. Very quickly, please, let's pray. hallelujah now when you're ready with the prayer request please bring them up here very quickly let me pray for the sick i promise to do that and i'll pray for the sick among these people wearing white the power of god is coming on one of you where eh? there's one of you i just saw an anointing just a strong fire coming on one of you please help them when that happens this fire is to ignite you and god is going to begin to show you revelations very very strange help them please Help, help her, help her, help her, please. Don't let them enjoy themselves. Whether you are an usher or not, help them. I'm about to pray for the sick. Please lay your hand where you are trusting God for healing. Lay your hands where you are trusting God for healing. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just touch your chest. I'm standing in faith with all the servants of God here and we're about to speak healing to your body agree with me as I pray in the name of Jesus and so can shout a believing amen in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ right now I command every devil of infirmity hear the word of the lord in the name of jesus christ every spirit that is back of any sickness and infirmity i curse you let god's people go now let god have a help them please let god's people go now let god's people go now let god's people go now now I declare be healed 
in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus be healed my God be healed in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus migraine headaches be healed in the name of Jesus every bone condition be healed in the name of Jesus every blood condition we we change every genotype and every blood condition that is faulty be changed now in Jesus name the Lord is healing hepatitis B be healed right now in the name of Jesus Christ every blind eye please help them be healed now in the name of Jesus every blood vision eyes open now in Jesus name ears open now in Jesus name every fibroid every lump around your breast your stomach any part of your body I call up a I cause it be healed now in Jesus name recurrent migraine headache the Lord is healing it right now in Jesus name every infection that came from the realm of the spirit through dreams in the name of Jesus Christ I break that influence over your life now heart palpitations be healed right now in the name of Jesus be healed right now in the name of Jesus pile the Lord is healing pile I declare healing for you right now in Jesus name the Lord is showing me a lady you've not seen your period your circle for a prolonged time and it's, it's irregular and for a long time you've not seen it it's giving you concern I declare restoration of normalcy now anyone barring here hear the word of the Lord whether for you or for someone you are standing in for I declare by the spirit of the living God barrenness comes to an end now hotness hotness around the body just severe heat whether the weather is hot or not help them please your body is constantly hot I decree and declare let there be restoration of normalcy now COVID-19 be healed now in the name of Jesus HIV AIDS be healed now in the name of Jesus cancer be healed now in the name of Jesus diabetes be healed now in the name of Jesus I pray also for your loved ones some of you have left sick family members across various parts of this nation and around the world oh may the angel of his presence touch them where they are and bring them life and healing like the centurion son may they be touched and healed now in jesus name anyone here under the sound of my voice appointed unto death that death has been following you or following your abakatoski following your family right now i decree and declare in the name of jesus oh death where is your sting and oh grave where is your victory i rebuke death from your life now please i like you to stretch your hands towards the altar here everyone stretch your hands to these prayer requests we are praying Jesus 
is bringing healing deliverance this is the most accurate representation of your prayer request in the next one or two minutes i'm going to bow my knees before the lord and i want to agree with you that these egyptians you see today that you will see them no more forever hallelujah stretch your hands and begin to pray my altar is calling you oh god my sacrifice is calling you oh god my worship is calling you oh god my covenant is calling you oh speak from the heavens and the earth will hear oh speak from your throne and i'll hear from the earth my worship is calling you someone is praying son of the living God that every request you have written here I stand by the God of my covenant and I declare let it be turned right now to a testimony let it be turned right now to a testimony let it be turned right now to a testimony let it be turned right now to a testimony let it be turned right now to a testimony let it be turned right now to a testimony hear me any altar that fights the answer to this prayer may the earth open and swallow them now hear me every destiny helper who must partner with god to see that these requests are answered we provoke their ministry over your life now And hear me anyone who says over his dead body for this request to be answered may the earth open and swallow them I speak to you by this apostolic and this prophetic mantle hear me Usuka. these Egyptians you see today 
in the name of Jesus and by the God of heaven you will see them no more forever you will see them no more forever you will see them no more forever the same way I'm standing prophetically over this request everything that has risen above you I bring it under your feet now let me pray for you we're rounding up there are many of you who have seen this in dreams there are mantles there are graces some of you are in a strange season with the Holy Ghost the Lord has been working on you building you even for this season men and women alike I pray for you right now the mantle of your destiny that must come upon you and turn you into a savior wherever you are in the name of Jesus Christ from my left to my right from the front to the back at the count of three I like you to shout Jesus as you receive that mantle one two three shout Jesus take that mantle take that mantle take that mantle take that mantle prophetic mantles apostolic mantles business mantles leadership mantles ministerial mantles let it come upon you now let Unsuka never be the same hear me I stand by the privilege of the prophetic gates of revival over in Suka, east of the Niger I stand as one sent I speak to the gates of revival be open hither and tita be open hither and tita apostolic fire prophetic fire evangelistic fire we declare Maranatha let the power of God come let revival come upon your campus upon every church upon the territory of Nsuka generals arise prayer warriors arise apostles arise pastors arise We pray for every church represented in Nsuka. Anglican, Methodist, Catholic, Pentecostal, Presbyterian. For as long as they name the name of Christ. I stand in unity with all our fathers and the leaders, veterans of the gospel here represented. We declare over the land of Nsuka, the church is marching on. The church of Akete Pakata over your campus the church is marching on over in Suka, the church is marching on hear me the walls of disunity the walls of division the walls of competition the walls of bitterness and envy and jealousy men of god fighting men of god student presidents fighting students president fellowship fighting press fellowship let it come to an end right now hear me there is a dimension of god that no single individual can reveal it takes a corporate body of christ to reveal that dimension of god i pray for the campus the kind of excellence you have never seen on your campus in the name that is above all names from your vice chancellor to the members of senate the deans of the colleges and faculties heads of department lecturers we declare supernatural intelligence and empowerment and i pray for every faculty every department in the name of jesus christ by the spirit of the christ i decree and declare a new wave of extraordinary performance me 
some of you are wondering and say apostle is it not when i pay my school fees that i can even finish i pray for you may help arise from unusual sources i say it again may help arise from unusual sources by prophecy even though it is a meeting hosted by shekinah assemblies but because we have stepped our feet upon this campus we attract helpers within the country and out of this country may they come into your campus and support the cause of the kingdom may they support development may they bring grants that will help the students excel in the name of jesus christ hear me if there is any rain of cultism on your campus i step my feet upon this ground we command the earth to fight anyone who becomes a nuisance to the advancement of studies upon this campus hallelujah praise the name of the lord finally we pray for Shekinah assembly the privileged ministry that God has sent many of you are connected to this grace we have to honor the vessel and the ministry that God used for all of you who are part of this church family or will be part of this church family I stand and declare by the Spirit of the Living God let it be a new season for you let it be a new season for you let it be a new season for you I pray for the man of God, Reverend Vindio Lu, and his dear wife, the pastorate, the eldership, ordained workers, and all who stand to support this grace. I speak to you by the apostolic and the prophetic. Let a new door of influence be opened over you. A new door of increase be opened over you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, I remember very quickly, I was told, I was told to do this yesterday. I don't know if we can do it if you are a campus fellowship president godly born again disciplined campus fellowship president okay and the joint joint christian body please come quickly and stand here let's celebrate them as they come i hope you understand what i'm saying please come stand let me just pray for you very quickly 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 just come stand quickly let's pray campus fellowship president and the joint christian body i was told please come and stand here stretch your hands over these great leaders and pray for them they represent the spiritual leaders over your campus please stand stand for space are you stretching your hands to pray for them you don't have to know them and you don't have to belong to their fellowship just pray that the purposes of god will be established through their lives while they're on campus Pray for discipline, pray for character. Pray that they will be worthy representatives of the kingdom. Pray that they will also excel in the academics. Many of you may never understand the burden of being a spiritual leader as well as a student. The challenges, the attacks, pray for them. Pray that there will be unity. It's easy to fight, it's easy to compete, it's easy to compare. But pray that God will help them to mature to a point where they love and need one another more than revelation more than anointing more than ministerial calls that they will look past the walls of division they will look past the walls of prejudice they will look past the walls of hatred denominational barrier and stand to lift up the name of jesus as a unified force stretch your hands and pray for them pray for yourself for grace to respect them as touching their capacity as leaders pray that they will finish strong that none of them will fall by the wayside they will be men and women of character men of fire men who will excel in the academics even whilst they serve and that when they are done with their program here on campus they will not become a warning to others rather they will be an inspiration to others many have served just like them and today they have become warnings to others 
pray against the spirit of pride pray against complacency hallelujah now please look at me ladies and gentlemen i salute you and i congratulate you for being leaders over this campus can i tell you this do not despise the enormity of this responsibility god has given you like jeremiah don't say i am young but you see it is required in all stewards that you be found faithful i know that you represent different fellowships and here and there there might be differences in beliefs and all of that but please make sure you and your fellowship does not become a nuisance to the advancement of the kingdom in the campus respect one another one of the keys to unity is mutual honor you cannot dishonor another president using the 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 basis of revelation or basis of this my general overseer is this you will cause trouble in the campus and the people you are leading you will make them hate and fight one another you must have the heart of unity i know there are differences doctrinal differences here but you should be able to greet one another how are you sir god bless you my love to your fellowship people don't fight and don't mentor people don't give that false and childish impression if it is not us god is not doing anything it's a lie no single individual sustains the power to host all of god it will take the corporate workings of god there are some of you is the area of excellence and leadership some of you the prophetic some of you soundness of doctrine some of you character and moral excellence embrace one another there are some of you here who need to work on your character i will tell you up front obtain grace from god go and sit down don't say it does not matter work on your character so that you will be vessels enough some of you may need to work on spirituality some of you need to balance other aspects of your life do not forget that even though you are a president you are also a student in the school of the spirit most presidents and most leaders they take this thing on their head to the point that when they hand over they can't even walk among people again because of shame because every respect was given them because of the title not because people loved them love people and be humble all this pride pride throw it away do not subscribe to wrong mentorship don't subscribe to wrong to anybody including me don't let anybody mentor you wrongly look at our lives but let your ultimate attention be on jesus whilst you learn don't cause trouble in the campus be an agent of unity be an agent of love embrace one another i pray for you in the name of jesus christ i stand in faith and partnership with the various ministries and overseers and men of god who you represent in this campus i pray together as a coordinated spiritual force may his kingdom come through your lives may his glory be revealed through your life let the era of jealousy and fighting and backbiting and tearing down one another and name calling let it come to an end through your set and i pray for your academics let it not suffer while you serve if there's any one of you having any academic challenge right now i agree with you by faith may the lord show you mercy you will mentor the student body correctly they will love you even beyond your titles in the name of jesus christ i bless you and i bless the works of your hands it will never be that at the end of your journey that you will be an instrument of shame your honor remains with you even when you hand over in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ the lord bless you the lord increase you go from glory to glory in jesus name i pray nsuka once again thank you so much for your love thank you for receiving of this ministry i appreciate every man of god may you go from glory to glory in jesus name i pray you are remember okay this can go we ask that you package a special seed for the servant of god he's going to pray dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel 
comment on it, like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.